Hi, uh, good day, good afternoon, traders all over. Good day, colleagues. Um, it's been a while since I um, posted something here uh, on my channel. And um, special greetings to those who subscribed and uh, for those who are watching my video for the very first time. Thank you so much for your time, and I hope it will be worth it. All right. Um, Without wasting any of, of the time, uh, my name is Njabulo. Uh, my YouTube channel is uh, Njabulo, right? So I specialize on, I specialize with V75, right? I, I take V75 a lot because it is no noise and it is not controlled by any news event. However, if we can check there on my bias that I'm open to, to, to one pair or more. In fact, now um, I just um, reconnected with XM. Why XM? Um, at first, I used to trade gold with XM. Okay. Now, uh, all you see on my screen here is gold, uh, GBP, USD, and Euro, GBP. Now, the, re the reason why I chose XM it was because of this, why it is so, so, so... Um, so low and I never had any trouble with that payment. So everything is just good with them. All right, so now here is what I want to show you. I want to show you the setup uh, of Euro GBP and GBP USD and maybe gold as well. But now uh, we'll start with Euro G GBP. Now um, we we'll start on a high time frame. Remember, I said I, do, I don't trade in NASDAQ or any currencies because of the broker. So, but now I'm back to, to XM. So, yeah, I have my account manager there. So, everything is back on track. All right. So, now we'll start with your GBP. And then, as usual, we'll, we'll start on a higher time frame. <clears throat> now, there's a reason why my time frames are, are like this i only have one two three four five ten time frames only and then there is a, a valid reason why and then uh i'll explain everything later uh, before i end the, this video <clears throat> now uh on on euro gbp then we start on monthly as usual um <clears throat> If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please uh, do so. Share the video, like the video, uh, comment with, with anything that, that that you want. Some people can divide. Hey, we accept we, we accept that. And I am not money. I cannot be loved by anyone. So yeah. So now let's take the Euro G GBP now. I want to give give you the breakdown analysis of this thing, guys. Please note one thing. I I do not scalp. I I do not scalp. I take trades on D1. So now, yeah, uh, please understand that. Hence, I remove the H4 and the H1 on my settings. Then, so now on Euro on Euro GBP, this is one of the currency pairs that that, that I used to to trade. Now I'm back to it again. So now, I'm just showing you what to expect within the next days all right <clears throat> so now what do we see here we see um the break of my of market structure here all right we see the break of market structure here we i explained a lot about uh the uh, the break of market structure and what to look out exactly before i confirm that this is a break of market structure in my previous videos so now, um, after this break of market structure here, uh, we 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 have an, another structure here. We we have another structure here, which is our internal structure. Okay, this is our internal structure, and then also we also ha have this. Which you or refer to it as a swing market structure or failure market structure, depending on on which terminology you prefer, right? And then also we have another swing of market structure right here, right? So now this is the 
this is a swing of magistrature. In fact, it's exactly, yeah. Because uh, we don't have to force things here because one mistake you are out and you, you are using your, your hard and end money here, All right? So now we know now that uh, the market is likely to uh, to uh, respect the, 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 the order block of uh, internal structure before the order block of the ma macro structure. All right, so now where do we start? We start here. <clears throat> With our breakout block here, we start with our breakout block here. As you can see, we, we, we already have a mitigation here. All right, the, 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 this is the the the, the breakout block of a microstructure here. We already have a mitigation here, and then also we 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 have the the second mitigation here. Now then. Um, <clears throat> This mitigation comes from this high here. Yeah. Comes from this high right here, right? And then after this break, we look exactly for the same, very same things that we looked for here. You do the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. All right. Now, what do we have here? We, we have our bullish base order block here. <clears throat> Right, so these are bullish base order block here. <clears throat> right, so now we can see that it is mitigated right here. All right, so now where does this mitigation come from? It comes all the way from from here. Now, now um, we we have this swing high here right that is not yet broken right here okay cool now if it's like this then what do we do then we, we have this swing high here and then we have a mitigation on this bullish base order block here remember we are, we are on monthly time frame so what do what do we say price is from a bullish base order block approaching the swing high Right now, what is the direction of uh, Euro GBP? If if you can miss this on monthly, and then you miss it in all the other time frames. Now, the direction of Euro GBP is bullish. Now, why 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 do I say is is bullish? Now, at the mitigation here, again we 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 after the mitigation there we have a change of character right here right here right we we have our ch change of character right here right now this change of character here, it is not yet mitigated but price moved away from us from the bullish order block and did what and took the liquidity above the pullback. All right. It took out the liquidity above the pullback that is responsible for giving us a change of character. Now, this is some advanced stuff on smart money concept. I hope your mentor told you about all these things. Now, <clears throat> since we have this break here, and then uh, what do we notice again? another fail of market structure, right? Inside what the bullish base order block. Okay, cool. Now, what do we do then when things are like this? We go uh, to the swing high and then look for the, uh, look for the bearish order flow that mitigated this bullish base order block. All right. And then how do we do that? We see here we have a high, we have a low, and then what do we have? We have a high, we have a low, and then what do we have? A, we have a lower high, and then finally what? A lower low here. So what do we do? We mark this right here. We mark this right here. Exactly there. And then 
we look for the very same things again uh, after the break of market structure do we have a microstructure here we we don't have do we have any form of li liquidity no we we don't have so what, what do we do we use the the famous concept of smart money and and that famous concept is that the last buy candle before the bearish break of market structure is an order block now you only look for that if you do not find any liquidity here. I've said it once and I hope you grab that. Now, this is the candle here. All right. Now again, I just took the, the week again. I explained about the week in entries in one of my previous videos. Please refer to it so you, so you, you understand everything why I take only the weeks. Now we have a clean break here and then uh, 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 we we have the mitigation here. Now this is a clean break of market structure, and then down here this is a technical break of market structure down here, right? This is a technical break of market structure, and now this is a clean uh, this is a clean break of market structure, and then we have a mitigation here. Now I always say to my to my colleagues. Um, I, I hate to call them my, my clients. I always say to my colleagues, we do not remove our, um, our um, markups until they are violated. Now this is on monthly. As we, as we can see here, this mitigation ha happened in 2019 in October, right? But it was still valid until, um, until, let's put it exactly at the, at the week only, exactly, yeah, yeah. It was uh, valid until, until um, 2022, September. See now why I say do not remove your markup until it is violated. Now, since we have this here, since we have this as our order block here, now we we know where is the first target, all right? Remember the first target is the swing high or swing low before the mitigation of an order block. Now this is a mitigation of an order block and then a te technical break. And then uh, the, the this is the, the swing high is exactly up here, right? Before the mitigation of the order block, this uh, trend line here, it's our ultimate take profit. All right, now cool. Now uh, we we have again uh, as as I said, guys. I will explain some advanced stuff here. Now um, again here, what do we have? <clears throat> we have this swing high here in this order block here, right? We have this swing high uh, in the order block here. And then where does it come from? It comes from this low here. Now we 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 did we didn't refine anything to any time frame. We are looking everything on monthly time frame. What do we have here? Is this a technical break of market structure or is it a clean break of market structure? Well, we don't have any break of market structure. Here. We only have a stop hand, right? We we only have a stop hand. So now. Here's the thing when, when you see a stop hand. Uh, the, this is what is likely to happen. You can check with all your charts. When you have a stop hand, expect a pullback into, into to the chart and the, into the structure, I mean, and then expect a liquidity grab below where the stop hand be, begin. Expect to see something like this. Always, whenever I see a stop, hand, expect something like this. Notice then where I dropped uh, this um, expected um, bearish move. Why here? Well, we have a, a structure here. We, we, we have a structure here, right? So this is likely to happen. Now, we, we, with all that said, this is monthly time. This is our <clears throat> this is our monthly time frame of okay. Something is wrong with my mouse. Okay, 
so sorry about that. <clears throat> now, this is our monthly time frame of uh, Euro GBP. Now, the question is, what do we do next? We we go to the lower time frame, right? It might sound crazy, but this is a lower time time frame, yeah, right? This is our weekly time uh, time frame, okay? So now, remember we have a, te a technical break on on monthly, but on on the lower time frame we have a mitigation of this change of character. Now, if we if we did not spot this change of character on a high time frame, do not force to spot it on a lower time frame because if you didn't see it on a lower time on a high time frame, so whatever you see on a lower time frame is just fake, right? So now let let's go back to the current price action. Now on a weekly time frame, th this is what we see now. We we now have a stop hand here. <clears throat> this is not a break of market structure. It is only a stop hand here, All right? So now si since we have this stop hand here, but this is what you should be doing. Uh, yeah, this exactly there. Now, this is not a break. This is not a, a standard break. This is no, not a technical break, but this is just a stop hand. All right. <clears throat> now that we have this uh, stop, what's happening here? Okay. Now that we have this stop, stop hand here, now look at what this uh, candle that, that uh, opened below the high of the stop hand did. It broke this low here. It grabbed liquidity that was resting below here. So it's right, it's a break of market structure. All right. So now uh, the, 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 there's a, spe a special technique um, that you always use whenever you're trading the, 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 the stop hunt. Now, due to my time, I'll just mark exactly where the entry is, uh, is, is supposed to be. The entry is supposed to be exactly, uh, we take only these weeks, these weeks here. Yeah. This week, exactly there. No, now this will be for our monthly time frame only. Okay, now, as you can see, after the break, we have a mitigation of these weeks of, of stop hunt right there. And then price try to push down again. And then as price was pushing down, notice now these structures, because you need a confirmation before you, you can take a trade, right? So what do we have here? We again have a technical break of market structure here. Yeah. Right, we have a technical break of market structure here, yeah? and then after the, our technical break of market structure, what do we have? We we okay. We know we notice again that we we have a fail of market structure right here, and then uh, uh, and then at the the fail of market structure, uh, the breakup block, it's our it's our entry number one. And then, and then um, the extreme order block is our entry number two, right? So now, where is the extreme order block? Right here. Right here. <clears throat> okay, cool. Now we have a technical break and then mitigation and then price. This was a very, very good buy. Yeah, all right. This was a very, very good bullish trade here. Yeah then the tech profit is obviously up then, all right? So as price was pushing up, remember we have a reversal to, towards what? Towards the mitigation of the bullish, uh, of the extreme bullish order block. So what do we have again here? We have this here, this break of market structure here. Now th this is, just, just a st standard break of market structure. Nothing technical about this. All right. So now again, what 
do you do you use again what your breakup block again all right so remember how you spot your breakup block is the very same way you spot your order block all right so now the, this is our our, our breakup block here so price is more moving towards what towards the bullish direction again remember we said on monthly prices from a bullish direction we had only one mitigation of the order block and the change of character it is not yet mitigated right so now we are on um weekly weekly time frame so now after this what do do we do then remember um in this structure here we have this extreme order block, which is not yet mitigated. Now this is our extreme order block here. It is not yet mitigated. Now is, is Euro GBP coming down here or is Euro GBP pushing uh, on a bullish direction? Now let's go to our entry time frame, And it is not a mistake, you heard me well, I said entry. Time, time frame, which is D1. Well, now on D, on D1, we see a total d different uh, uh, whole game here, All right? Now, what do we have? We have a break right here in a bullish direction, right here. We have a break right here in a bullish direction, and then again with a breakaway right here in a bearish direction, right, right here, right here, okay? We have a break in a bullish direction, and then we have a break in a bearish direction, and then what is that? That is a change of character, right? Now, since this is a ch change of character, where is, is the entry? Okay, number one entry was here on, on the, this candle here. As you can see, a uh, price came straight to it and it, and it, and it, did, not, it did not hold. So now just to give you some nuggets that I share with my colleagues only. If price is pushing straight towards the order block without building any structures before mitigating that order block, just know that the very same order block you're targeting, it will not hold, right? If there are no structures built before uh, the mitigation of that order block, just know that that order block will not hold at all, all right? So now, when you see this, just know that that order block will not hold. And then what do you do? Then you go to the extreme order block, right? Because after the, the, the mitigation of the breaker block, you go to the extreme order block. Also here, what do you do? Take your weeks only. So what do we see here exactly on these weeks? And then do we have any structures before the mitigation there? Let's check and, and confirm. Uh, let's check and confirm. This is the mitigation. Here, yeah, right, the high or the low, and then we we have a higher high, we have a higher low, then we have a higher high, and then we have a higher low, and then we have this internal high, uh, internal low, and then we have a higher high there. So now we see that, that we broke our many structures. We broke one, uh, two, uh, there's this in, internal one, this one is very tricky, but it is a break of my structure. One, two, three, and then four. And then finally we have a mitigation of the other block. Why is that important? It is important simply because you look at how far the swing low, look at how far the swing low is. This is the mitigation of a bearish order block, right? So the swing low, uh, uh, we will we, we'll de determine how long will you have to hold your, your trade for, right? So now after the mitigation, you have to hold your trade to, to, uh, to this order block down here. Now let's clear everything in the chart. Now you have to hold your trade 
and until we until this order broke down here. As you can see, price came exactly uh, onto it, and then now it is reversing. Now this is D1. As I said, this is our entry time frame. I usually stop here when I do analysis with my colleagues. Now they understand that what to do from here. But if this is your first time watching my my video, now here is what you what you should be doing. Now go to a low risk time time frame, of which we uh, we we we. We use M M M fifteen for such. Then come to this mitigation of the bearish uh, order block. And then this is the bearish order block right here. And then what do you do? Some nuggets again that I share. I share with my students, uh, with my colleagues. I mean, uh, so, so what do we have here? We have a break of market structure where in a bullish direction. Okay, right there, and then uh, <clears throat> and then uh, what do we have again? We have a break here again, down here, right? You have a break again down here, right? And then after that, uh, what do you do? You go to your breakup block. It is important to 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 understand your breakup block and to mark it exactly where it should be, right? So this is one two bearish candles. So yeah, we we, we mark things like that. Now we, we have a break and then we have a mitigation and then uh, price pushed a little a little bit uh, low to a bearish direction right there. And then after that, what do we have? We have another mitigation here. I, I, I just explained some moments ago wh why why uh, we have this mitigation and this mitigation. If you didn't get that, please uh, rewind the video. I just ex explained that, like honestly did. Now, um, what do we have again? Remember, this is M15. So what do you do? Uh, on M15, there will be a lot of structures. So this is the break of market structure again. And then this is the unmitigated order block here. Exactly here. This is the unmitigated order block. And then fast forward to the current price action. This is what the market is reversing. It's playing some yo-yo here, all right? So you still have this order block here, which is unmitigated. So now what you should uh, anticipate, expect price to tap here, um, expect price to, to tap here and then drop a little bit further. Why drop again? Because there's, li there's uh, liquidity resting below this veil of market structure here. Yeah. And then, <clears throat> And then we also have this huge imbalance here, which must be solved. So uh, that's my analysis on Euro GBP. I hope I did not confuse you and I hope you understand everything. All right. So uh, there's a comment section below. It is open for everyone and for everything. All right. So yeah, uh, that, that's what I wanted to show you on Euro GBP. Do I still have five more minutes? Of course I do have. Now we have again a GBP USD. All right, this one is, is already marked uh, on monthly time frame. Uh, the, the, these are my analysis. I'm busy with them um, just to give you a quick uh, hint of what happened there. Uh, we have a break of market structure in a bullish direction, then we have a break of market structure in a bearish direction. So this is our breakout block here, as you can see already it's mitigated. And then this mitigation come from the, this low and then we have a break below the swing low uh, be, before the mitigation. And then we had uh, this uh, clean uh, bearish order block here. And then we, after, after this, uh, after this break here, it confirmed what this clean bearish order block here, 
this the swing low here, not this one, this is a swing low, then the, the mitigation here. And then now this is a stop hunt here, all right? And then also this is a stop hand here. It is not it is not a break of market structure here. However, this is the beginning. This was a begin, beginning of a new structure. And then what do we see? Then we see um, now this this stop hand here. Uh, it it closed this order block here. And then finally, what do we have? We have a break down here, All right? So now this is our we our monthly so on weekly this is what we are we, we are having we have now a technical break again here of market structure so this was a perfect order block here all right this this is our, our perfect order block as you can see the the, the 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 mitigation of the very same order block which gave us a breakout block and then our target was down here on this swing low here all right, so before that, we have so many structures before what the the mitigation or be before the liquidity that's that is resting below this uh soon low is swept there. So we had so so many structures, and then this one is already violated, but this one seems to, to be strong, it is pushing the price down. So we're waiting for the break below this year. Remember, this is on weekly, all right? And then, and then on daily, um, on daily, this is where we are. We're expecting a break below this, and then a break below that. Uh, I'm analyzing this thing, uh, which will take a trade sometime ne ne next week, and then the next stop below this break. We expect this. Uh, we expect this to to. Uh, we expect this bearish move and then expect uh, the market to reverse from here, take out liquidity that, that's resting above here, take out all the liquidity that's resting above everything here and then mitigate what this bearish order block here. All right, so so now this is GBP USD. I don't care what, what the news says, uh, uh, who, who's de delivering a speech. I had uh, the, the, the UK Prime Minister sometime next week will be delivering a speech about what's happening in Ukraine. So that might affect their currency, right? So that might, that might affect their currency. Uh, it depends now on which side will he be. Is he, is either he's on in the side of NATO or against NATO. So now that that's a stress about scalping the news. But anyway, we we don't scalp here. Yeah. Okay. So now um, this is GBPUSD Euro GBP, and then also on gold. Let me just give you a quick highlight of how we, we analyze gold already, this is the one. As you can see, we have an alert here, we have an alert here. When this alert is active and then, and then <laughs> yeah, you will see the uh, results on Instagram. Some of my colleagues do post and some don't. Like myself, I don't post the, the results for some fun reasons and for some good reasons anyway. So yeah, uh, gold is, as it is on daily time frame, no need to explain everything here. So now, I don't know if you noticed, I took uh, three um, um, major currencies, right? I took Euro, I took GBP, and I took uh, USD. You trade gold versus USD, all right? The, the USD in, in gold is a code, then the gold is a base. Then GBP USD, then the USD is a code, and then uh, the GBP is based, but it, it, it's a base. But in Euro GBP now the GBP is a base, then the then the Euro, uh, uh, yeah, no, I, I, no, I mean the GBP is a code, then the Euro is a base. So now this is all you need to understand when trading the currencies, all the technicalities. Even the JPY, there's nothing wrong with trading the JPY, even the Swiss franc. So now that's all I wanted to show you, my colleagues online. However, I have some good some good news here. 
um, um, if you want to trade these currencies with us, right? If you want to trade these currencies with us, I will leave a link uh, in the description below here, all right? Of opening an account strictly with uh, XM using strictly that link. What you should be doing is that you open you open an account uh, on XM, all right? And then uh, um, you deposit at least at least forty US dollars or equivalent, all right? Forty US dollars or equivalent. Then send me the screenshot of of your account, not the account, the real account. Open a, an account using my link, right on the description below. Deposit at least forty dollars or equivalent, and then send me the screenshot. And then you you'll be surprised on how much prices dropped from the normal prices that you might have heard or if you don't know. So I will add you into a group that will deal strictly with this three, gold, GBP, USD, and Euro GBP only, not with Visa and 5. Visa and 5 is something else, it's separate. So use the link on my description, open the real account, deposit at least 40 to $50, oh, okay. Let's say the minimum is 14, then you can de deposit as much as you want. And then send me the proof that you opened account with your deposit. And then there's a serious, serious discount of adding you into my uh, channel there. All right, so guys, I hope you having a, I hope you have a good weekend. Uh, where I am, it's raining. So I think it's time to play with other kids as well. If the weather is like this, yeah, it calls for some hot coffee. So, so yeah, uh, thank you so much again for your time. I hope it, it was worth it. And then share the video with others. Uh, please do like, and also please, please do subscribe and share this information with other kids as well. I hope to see you soon on, on the other side. Oh, by the way, before I end this uh, recording, th there's a person who is impersonating me. Uh, that is not me, guys. I'm not the white person, as you can hear my my accent. I'm not the white person. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a simple Tsonga guy in South Africa. So I'm not I'm not not a white person, and I I will not ask you to invest with me. So that person is not me. So there's a link. That will take you straight to my Telegram, straight to my, not to my channel, to my personal Telegram in the description also. There'll, there'll be two links, one to open an account, one to take you straight to my Telegram. Then we'll talk more when you've done all that. Have a great weekend and I wish you a happy trading week uh, I hate and which is the following week. And then, yeah, let me go back to my VCL5 with my colleagues and see what you do. Have a good day, guys. I'm out. Njabulo here. Shop.